and we're back to learning Photoshop in year day 153. Let me show you how we can render clouds. You can do so on the filter render clouds. Couple of notes. First up, it's going to apply it to the layer that's active. So here in this case, I had a white layer. Let me create a new one. I keep it transparent. I apply the filter again and we have the same result. But now it's on a different layer. You can see it's also black and white and that's because we have that as our foreground and background color right here. So it takes both of these colors to create the effect. And we make the foreground color red. Create a new layer, apply it again. And now we have red to white. Let me make the foreground color green and I keep the background color to red. And now we have clouds using these two colors. So the colors are always determined by these two color swatches. Just left click on them and you can adjust them. One more note, there is also a difference clouds right here. It creates the same effect, but it's going to invert the colors. And when it's transparent, there is no color to invert. Therefore you first have to color, for example, using green, and then it's going to invert this color. So if you just want to have simple clouds, make sure to use the first render option and then adjust your color swatches down here. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.